What are you expecting to work with the Napoleon's colleague law firm? Well, fortunately, we have a precedence now for fighting for children, especially children who have been affected by environmental injustice. Paul and Marie led the efforts of what work we did in Flint, Michigan, where you had marginalized communities devastated by the lead poisoning of the water there. And that's why I'm so proud of this uh, merger and this relationship in New York, because we saw what we could do. It wasn't potential, it was kinetic. We did it. We helped change the lives of those children in Michigan, and we pray New York being the national city that it is, we can impact New York, but other places around the country. So what is the meaning of collaborating with Ben Crum to you? Well, it, it, to us, it's a, it's a very important milestone in our careers to work together with such a, a great man that has really extended the boundaries of what it means to have civil rights mm -hmm. and, and to, to change the perception of black people around the country and make it a better place, an equal place for everyone. You know, when we say the Declaration of Independence, we have to constantly make sure that we mean it when we say we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equally, that they're endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. Amongst them are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, where that means all of us, not just certain ones of us in the black community, in the Korean community, in the Asian community of all sorts. We're together in this, making a better world for all of our children. And that's what Paul and Marie and the Napoli firm have always stood for. And so now I hope to be able to help in some small way so we can greater serve the Korean community. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, well, we've been working with the Korean community for a long time now. And so we think this is another great step in the, in, in the direction in helping that community. Okay, thank you so much. 저희 로펌이랑 나폴리 슈퍼리그랑 이제 후계인 인권 변호사님 벤 크럼프랑 제휴 이제 론칭 이벤트인데요. 이렇게 찾아주셔서 너무 감사합니다. 네, 앞으로 더욱더 발전하는 네, 앞으로 많이 발전을 해야죠. 네, 감사합니다. 뉴욕에 메나탄에 있는 아주 사고상의 전문 로펌입니다. 네. 뉴욕, 뉴저지, 어, 펜실베니아, 커네리커 뭐 저희가 이제 미국 10개 주에도 이제 사무실이 있는데요. 교통사고 사고상에 당하신 분들은 어, 저한테 아무 때나 전화 주시면 네, 917-300-0060에 전화 주시면 네, 저희가 최선을 다해서 네, 큰 보상 받아드리겠습니다. 네. 감사합니다. 언제 한번 저 유튜브 채널에 나와 주세요. 예, 알겠습니다. 네. 감사합니다. 네. 초대만 네. 해 주시면. 아유, 네. 고맙습니다. Countries come back. It's worth some applause. I'm Monique Presley, and it is my distinct honor and privilege to officially welcome you to what is a celebration, is officially to the celebration of the um opening of Crump, Napoli, and Skolnick, the Lawyers for Justice. We are here because we need Ben Crump. We need Brother Napoli, who I've been to Flint with. We fought some fights. We need them to be in the biggest and best city in the world. That's New York. I told Ben Crump, Ben Crump called me 10 years ago, and there was a case in Florida. A young man killed in a boot camp, Martin Lee Anderson. And I went down to Tallahassee, and Ben said, just a country lawyer trying to get justice. But I saw his passion, I saw his commitment, and we had a march down there and we stayed on that case, and from there to Trayvon, and the rest was history. And he is now the reigning and unchallenged Attorney General for Black America, Ben Crump. Senator Chuck Schumer! Yeah. But we are both Brooklyn! Brooklyn! So 
I want to thank everybody for being here. I want to tell you, we have a mission in Washington. And that mission, we have many missions. We have a mission of climate. We have a mission of economic inequality. We have a mission of democracy. We have a mission of getting the guns off the streets. We have a mission of immigration reform. But the mission that is at the top of the list is finally bringing racial justice in law enforcement. And no one has done more than this man, Ben Crump. What I meant when I told her that is that most folks know me from television, having fun, and uh, doing small claims. But what they don't know is when I take that robe off, robe off I'm a fierce fighter for equal justice. All of my adult life, that's the work I've done. And I want to thank our brothers. First, let me thank my friend and partner of over 30 years, Reverend Al Sharpton, whom I've had the pleasure of working with. And then, of course, Ben Crump. What a hero he is to all of us and this country. You know, every 50 years or so, there's a movement that is launched in America that changes the face of this country. And this movement was launched by none other than our dear brother, Ben Crump, Al Sharpton at his side, and thousands and hundreds of thousands of others. But you need leadership for a movement. And so we thank God for that. And we realized uh, very quickly that we were a good team, the four of us. And we learned uh, together, not only on the cases of police misconduct, where you have racial injustice, but you also have racial injustice in all parts of society, whether it's environmental injustice, banking injustice, in every area. We made a commitment to each other to fight that injustice wherever we can find it. And what we've done together so far, the, the three short years that we've known each other, is help the children in Flint, help the National Black Farm Workers Association, help countless people. And we're like-minded, and we believe that we're going to be able to do what Ben has done nationally here in New York and help New York. Is New York in the house? not thinking that robbery to come here, some of you from far away, to be in New York to help Napoli Skolnick and I set a base in New York City. I would be remiss before I start thinking everybody else if I did not thank my beautiful bride, Dr. Janae Angeline Crump, and my little eight-year-old boss, Brooklyn Zeta Crump. Uh, Hunter, Paul, and Marie, if I, I did not acknowledge my mentor, Reverend Al, because Reverend Al, believe it or not, he spoke Monique the blessing into my life. He said, Crump, you're going to be national. God is going to use you. And that was before anybody in America really knew my name. It was in 2006 where Martin Lee Anderson had been killed out of boot camp. And we were just saying that before our Black Lives Matter took off, this 14-year-old little black boy, life mattered. And Reverend Al stayed in Florida until we got the boot camps shut down. And he's been by my side ever since. So thank you, mentor, co-counselor, uh, Advisor Reverend Al Sharpton. Rico, he hails from Chicago. A uh, 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 young, attractive single man, ladies. Attorney Bill Pintas. Oh, yeah, Bill, please come forward.